Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out in Epcot. I'm gonna be meeting up with some friends and we're gonna be walking around World Showcase, seeing if there's anything new in the park. And then we also have dining reservations at the Garden Grill and I haven't eaten there since my mom and sister were here. So I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. We're gonna ride some rides, eat some food and just have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It looks like there's a storm a brewing, so we might end up getting a little bit of rain later on. But look at the skies behind Spaceship Earth there. It actually looks really cool. I am very excited because this is going to be the first time that I'm going to be able to go into a Disney park without having to make a theme park reservation. While I was away, Disney made the change that annual pass holders don't need to make theme park reservations after 2 p.m. Uh, there is one exception though. It is Magic Kingdom on Saturday and Sunday. You still need to make a theme park reservation, but I am so excited for this change. I really hated the theme park reservation system, and now it's going to be great to just stroll in after 2 p.m. I'm pretty positive nobody liked the theme park reservation system. I've met so many people that came down here on vacation, bought tickets to the park, and they got turned away because they didn't make a prior reservation, and there was no more reservations available for the day. And I hope they change that permanently for everyone, not just pass holders. You know what I mean? Pass, pass holders, they come more frequent, and I understand, but I feel like if you buy a ticket, you should be able to just come, you know? And I know that on Disney's side, it makes things a little bit easier when it comes to planning but it doesn't no benefit for anyone else like it doesn't benefit the actual people that are paying to come here I was hoping to get a chance to watch Epcot forever tonight it returned while I was gone away so I haven't gotten to see it yet and I actually enjoy Epcot forever I mean I liked harmonious but Epcot forever I love the music and I loved Walt actually talking about Epcot so it'll be cool to see that as long as the rain stays away it is 3 p.m. and I'm going to try to join the boarding group for Guardians of the Galaxy. I can join the boarding group for Magic Kingdom. Look at that. Uh, for Tron, it's actually available. Now let's see Epcot. Oh, look at that. Yes. Joining the virtual queue. Bada bing. Bada boom. Look at that. 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to be meeting up with a bunch of different friends today and two of them are doing awesome challenge videos so I wanted to come out and support them and be a part of it and first you have Promise Hope who is doing her first four park challenge. She's never done four parks in one day so I thought it'd be cool to catch her as she's making her rounds through Epcot and then also Disney Dan is here and Disney Dan is dedicating a whole entire day to the land. He's going to ride living with the land all day long that's kind of crazy right non-stop he's just gonna be riding living with the land he's gonna eat from the land that's why we're gonna be at the garden grill and he's gonna do all the activities just in that pavilion and that is such a cool video so I'm gonna kind of show you guys that process along with all of the other fun things we're gonna do at Epcot today but honestly right now I'm a little bugging out oh my lord I was just sitting here all by myself and then this wonderful gentle bird just creeped up on me. But if you could have seen the way he was looking at me before, I don't even know what he's going for. Sorry, the bird really just caught me off guard. But anyways, yeah, so I will put both of their channels in the description. Make sure you guys keep your eye out for their videos and it's gonna be a fun day. Holy moly, they added a lot of trees to everywhere. Even on this side over by Connections Cafe, look at all that foliage right there. I kind of like it though. I really can't wait till all these walls come down. Tear these walls down. And here she is, Promise Hope, on her four park challenge. This is what, your third stop? This is my third stop. One more, we have to go to MK. But this is crazy, you guys. I started at noon. Uh, I didn't know it was gonna be this hard, but I also didn't know it was gonna be this fun. I'm having the best time ever. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> and now we're gonna go ride Spaceship Earth. Let's do it. Jackie, super enthused, is also here. We're all gonna go on Spaceship Earth. I think the rain's coming. I can feel it coming. My right? You're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my lumbago, my lumbago. Lumb lumbago. Everything's acting up. Everything's acting up. Change. Pressure change. It's in the air. <laughs> we, we decided we're all just gonna ride in separate cars. 
<laughs> but when will I see you again? Never! Never! Spaceship Earth is so much fun, but now we need to make our way over to the land. We need to uh, meet up with our other friends and Promise needs to continue on with her journey. This is the restaurant we're gonna be eating at later, the Garden Grill, and it's a character dining. You can see Chip and Dale in there, and it's cool because the restaurant itself just rotates around, and you're actually in the attraction. You're in Living With The Land. You'll see the boats going by, and it's really good food. But for right now, we're gonna head to Living With The Land, and we're gonna see uh, my friends and see how many rides they got in already. Even with the uh, rainstorm outside, it's still only a five minute wait though. Look at that. Five minutes, you can hop right on. Another really fun fact about Garden Grill, you can actually eat food from living with the land. I think they have a salad where everything is harvested from the attraction itself. And they used to have that at su uh, Sunshine Seasons here, but they took it away. It used to be the succotash. The succotash was made from stuff from the land, but it got so popular, they would have nothing left on the land. So it's only in the Garden Grill, I think. I'm in a page of Mr. Marvinger right now. Oh, you are? <laughs> Very fancy. But yeah, here is Disney Dan. And uh, how many rides have you done so far? We're on ride number nine right now. Number nine. They're gonna help us get nine and 10 before dinner. Nine and 10 before dinner? What time's dinner? Uh, like a little, uh, like 4.30. Oh, oh yeah, we have enough time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> no, wh yeah. why are you doing it? Why am I doing it? Yeah, what, what's... Because, you know, the, I'm just testing the sustainability of theme park vacations. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, and I mean. By spending the, the been the whole day in the most sustainable pavilion of Epcot. And we're front row. <laughs> in the desert, nature has created a very different, <laughs> no less beautiful living system. And while this air landscape cool? may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive this prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert. But over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil. One day become home to the American farm. <laughs> You lifted that? Yeah, it was like there was a dying star inside well, of it. Well, they're weighing it down because if they're doing yeah. that, it's The reason she said it was full of wet and sticky seats. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah. You learn you part. learn a lot when you uh, ride the land nine times. Ten times. Ten, Ten times. times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I got two, two, two to seven more. Oh, my God. There's a there's a banana flower here, Nate. A I banana flower? It, but there's a banana flower, and it's the wildest thing you've ever seen in your life. Google a banana flower. Well, we got bananas on our left and bananas on our right. Oh, can you see it? Is it on this one, Rob? It's in our lab. Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of today's research: orchid, rose, and strawberry. Use higher yielding and better quality plants. Don't look at the people riding. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Living with the land was a lot of fun, but now it's time for us to uh, have dinner with the land. Dinner on the land at Garden Grill. 
Here is Chip and Dale's Harvest Feast Garden Grill. It's all you care to enjoy. It's $55 for adults and $36 uh, for children. They've got everything from a harvest inspired garden salad, grilled beef chimichurri, roasted chicken, seasonal vegetables, southern style spoon bread. Ooh, spoon bread. But what I love most, the berry sundaes with whipped cream. The berry shortcake, the berry sundaes. <laughs> Look at him walking behind Pluto. Like I mentioned, the restaurant slowly rotates around and it's cool because we have a good start point right here next to Living With The Land. Look at that, you can actually see right under the house there and then down there, look at that. That's awesome, isn't it? Got a little chicken. This is so cool. I've always wanted to go in that house. Chip and Dale along with Pluto and Mickey will be around and uh, it's really cool that you get to see Chip and Dale, Pluto and Mickey together. It's like I think the only other character breakfast where you get to see them actually mixed up. Like they have breakfast here but it's also the only other one that I, I don't think I can see them in any other one so it's nice because this is Chip and Dale's actual dining. It's Dale! It's nice to see you. We're excited for the harvest feast. Yep, I'm sure you prepared a, a bountiful meal. Yep, you did. Oh, very I nice. There's, there's three berries in the dessert. I'm excited for that. Very cool. <laughs> we, couldn't, we couldn't stretch it to four berries. You made the dessert, or you just saw them make the dessert. <laughs> <laughs> he does the harvesting. Minnie makes the, the Minnie makes the the uh, pastry. She's the uh, pastry chef. Minnie makes the pastries. Minnie, uh, Minnie's always the pastry chef usually. Did Minnie make these pastries? Oh look, yeah. that's how. Yep. Oh you. you can see yourself. You can, you can check if you have anything in your nose. Yep. See if your teeth are clean. That's the way. You look great. Oh, smoothie, I'm proud. Ah, too good. Too good. You're the best. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. pal. Thank you. <laughs> We're diving into the salad here. Living with the land salad. And he said almost everything was harvested. Everything except for what? I don't know. He said the lettuce was, but I don't know what else is in there. The olives? The olives weren't from the land? Maybe. Who's got oh that sanitizer smells delicious. Yes. What is this? Bath and Body Works. Strawberry pound cake. You know, we're gonna have like a berry shortcake later on here. Wow! Let's some of that on my yeah, pre-game that. Yeah, pre-game it. Yeah. yeah. The food is all you care to enjoy. So they'll bring out everything in one big platter, but if you want other things, like so if you just want more spoon bread or more chicken, you can actually ask for it and they'll bring it out, whatever you, you know, desire. You can just say, Give me another skillet, you know? I could probably put down a skillet myself. You? Yeah, I could probably put a whole skillet down. One whole skillet yourself? I'm not doing it. I'm not <laughs> doing it though. I'm not doing it though. That's a but lot. I could. Mm -hmm. I, I am. Get the meat sweats from that. Yep. <laughs> hey, you know, I like your whiskers. They're very springy. Look at those springy whiskers. I like, oh, very fancy. Look at that. So <laughs> Aren't they? Look at them. I love it. <laughs> I could probably just keep looking at them. <laughs> oh, that was a noise. <laughs> Salad is no good? No? Good? No. Uh, he hey, wants the meat. How do you feel about that dog out there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about that barking dog? Oh, Whoa, we knew it. Yep. We knew it. We knew you'd have some territorial issues. <laughs> and he just won't shut up either. He just barks. And barks and barks. All day long. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Pluto. You're the best. I like your collar, Pluto. It looks like the meats have arrived. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. You done with your. Uh, oh, all salad? done with that salad. I like that spoon bread. That's something new on the menu, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like that they uh, had a shortage on the turkey and stuffing, so that's why we got the spoon bread and also the barbecue chicken, and I'm excited to try it, especially the spoon bread. Look at this. But I do miss the stuffing, though. The stuffing here was amazing, but who knows? This might be a winner. And no. I think I like the stuffing. <laughs> the spoon bread is good if you like spoon bread, but I just remember really loving the stuffing here, so I'm kind of shocked. And uh, now I'm gonna try the chicken. The chicken is like chicken thighs though. 
It's, it looks good. Here we go with the chicken. Can I give a high five? That's good chicken. I like this a lot, actually. <laughs> Spinning fast. I gotta grab some of these potatoes with that delicious succotash in there. That did not work as planned. This is Oh, look at you helping me out here. Let me grab some of these it's a potatoes. It's a there we go. The YouTube's. The YouTube's. <laughs> Sylvester, uh, like Simone? succotash. No, Sylvester, Looney Tunes. Oh, we're at Disney World, man. Where do you think we are? Oh, you can't be talking about the Looney Tunes. I know, I'm gonna get taken out of here now. Get, well, that's a good thing. <laughs> yep, we're gonna have to leave. You just mentioned the succotash Looney Tunes character because he says succotash. <laughs> he goes, Suc he says suffering, something. Su suffering succotash. Right? Suffering succotash. <laughs> Big one. Here comes the main gardener himself. Look at this. Hiya, pal. I love the overalls. They look fantastic. You want a bite? Want some of the chicken? Spoon bread? I won't say nothing. I won't say nothing. Well fed. Yeah. Minnie takes care of them. She keeps the fridge stocked with leftovers. Macaroni and cheese. Mickey likes Mac. That's the way. Mickey Mac and cheese. <laughs> he's, he's a mouse. He likes cheese. <laughs> this guy. So much sense. This guy. Coming together now, man. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. I love the character interactions here at Garden Grill. I think it's so awesome, and they're very like personal like they're they're really spending quality time discussing things calling us out on the fact that we don't know things and uh i kind of like it i like it a lot the oh best thing though has to be this beef oh he's just gonna put it in there yeah. wow tim's a smooth operator that is a smooth that's a smooth move right there <laughs> that's a lot of beef we got here though Surprise, or do you want me to double it and give it to the next person? Berries and cream, berries and I cream. I guess we are the next person. Yeah, double it and give it to the next person. Look at this dessert. So many berries. It looks so good. I love this dessert. It's one of my favorites, actually. And the more compo, the better. Seriously, and I think you can ask for extra compo, too. Look at that. Oh, and the whipped cream. There it goes. This is a recurring bit. This turning your back to us. Yeah. I'm liking that. It's yeah, it's You're also bit. appreciating the view. I'm not really disappointed. <laughs> it's just a bit. <laughs> Too much. He can't. He can't. He's done. <laughs> well, that was very good. I'm not a fan of the menu change, but from what I have heard, it's only temporarily uh, because they're just having a shortage. But I'd like to see the turkey and the stuffing come back and uh, the character interactions were the best in such a long time they were absolutely amazing and now uh, I think we're just gonna hang out in here a little bit longer maybe do another lap on living with the land or go see awesome planet right next to the garden grill is awesome planet and it's a movie it's a show this used to be Timon and Pumbaa's uh, little tiny show but they switched it to the awesome planet and it's three minutes of the next show so I think we're actually gonna go uh, watch the next show this really does remind me of old-school Epcot look at the carpeting on the walls here look at that it feels so fancy do you feel fancy? <laughs> I feel like I can sleep vertically against this wall right now. I could just like. It feels nice. Soft. It is. It's I very soft. This wall as I you don't blend into yeah, not like the purple wall. Can you imagine you just came wearing this pattern? <laughs> yeah, that would have been funny. Any uh, uh, any uh, theme park merch people? There you go. Hey, Roosevelt's printed design of this wall. Yep. You'll be here. <laughs> Look at this theater. Isn't it so beautiful? That's going to be where the screen is, but it is a big theater. It goes all the way up to the top there. I know it doesn't look move-in ready just yet, but trust me, this property is one of a kind. Hang on, hang on. It's still under 
under construction, but it has plenty of potential and its value will only increase over time. Then may I suggest the Grasslands. They're one of our most popular neighborhoods. be living on the land that helps feed your neighbors around the world. If everyone on the planet pitched in what we could accomplish, together we can do it, and together we will. was really awesome I love that little movie it's really cool they have lighting effects in there but it's basically just a little like like a little uh, show itself and uh, now the Sun is out and the rain is gone our plan worked and our boarding group got called so we can actually head right on over to Guardians of the Galaxy right now I'm telling you we timed this perfectly I am so excited to be riding Guardians of the Galaxy. This is one of my all-time favorite rides, even though it's just so new. And I hope that I get everybody wants to rule the world. Tears for fears. What are you looking for? I still have yet to get September, ever. And really? It's like 25 times or something, because I'm local. So. Today is going to be the day. September yeah. it is. Tears for fears is also probably maybe even better. That's yeah. my favorite. That's my favorite, too. But we're, we're hoping for September. It is crazy to think that I got here at 3 o'clock, joined a boarding group, and now it is officially 7 o'clock, and I'm riding it right now. Wow, it, is, it has changed a lot. Hey, what's up, Novacorp? Our cosmic generator has been stolen. What? How? What did we think of that? That thing's got to be worth a fortune. I am Groot. Good question. Yeah, who do you think took it? Perhaps that really big man outside your ship. Well, that is a big man. I really hope we do get September. I love Green Day, so it would be great to hear it here on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Is this game pods every time or do they come back? Like Rocket's pretty nifty. <laughs> Ooh!
Guardians of the Galaxy is such a great ride. And we didn't get September, but next time. We were in there for a while though because the ride kept on stopping. And I'm not too sure why. It seemed like everything on our ride was just fine. And now it's time to move along and go see Epcot forever. I ran into my friend Noah. Did you ride Guardians? No, not yet, but I hope you enjoy it when you do. And I hope you get tears for fears. All right, see you Noah. It's so strange to not see the harmonious big like centerpiece there. Look, it's it's completely gone. All of it's going to be gone soon. And it's going to look a lot better here. And I'm excited for Epcot Forever. Like I said, I've been a big fan of this show. I just wish that they would bring back the uh, the kites. From what, I, what I've heard, I haven't seen it yet. There's no kites. And that was one of my favorite parts of the show. to see Epcot forever again it was a short show and the production like quality isn't there with harmonious especially when they took away the kites but I still love it and now it is pouring it started to rain during the show but now it is like a downpour so uh, we're gonna get wet I am voluntarily becoming a soggy bottom boy this is the first time I'm actually seeing any of the Disney 100 signs here at Walt Disney World. I was at Magic Kingdom the other day and I walked right past it. I didn't even look at it. Didn't even realize it was there, but here it is in Epcot. First time. Look at that. It actually looks really cool. It would be cooler if we could have lined up Spaceship Earth with the one, like the actual one zero in the middle, but I think that bushel is stopping us. I wonder why they did that. I think that would have looked really cool, wouldn't it? And with that, we are done here today. Sorry the video got cut short because of the rain, but it was a fun day. Disney Dan ended up doing 15 laps on Living with the Land. I did two with him, and then Garden Grill, Awesome Planet, Guardians of the Galaxy. It was overall a very fun Epcot day. And uh, yeah, now it's time to 
call it a night and uh, go see Gracie Girl. Epcot Forever was really good. I kind of miss Harmonious a little bit. Like, like I, I love the, the spectacle of it. I feel like Epcot Forever, without the kites and stuff like that, really doesn't have that awe factor. I love Epcot Forever because of the music, but... Uh, they still need to have like the, you know, the, you need to have the show with it. And uh, I'm excited to see what they have plans for the future because Epcot forever isn't forever. <laughs> it's, it's already been gone and now it's back. So it's kind of weird that they say Epcot forever. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. I think I hear a dog up there. I do hear a dog up there. Woohoo! Look at you! What you doing? Huh? What are you doing on those stairs? Let me see that smile. Let me see that smile. Yes! <laughs> what are you doing? You hopping? What are you hopping for? What are you hopping for? Huh? What are you hopping for? Huh? <laughs> yes. I missed you. I missed you. Yes. You want to go for a walk? Huh? Oh, are you kissing the camera?